Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to talk about Dota Underlords. And if you've been following me for a while, you know at some point in time, I attempted to turn this channel into a Dota Underlords channel. I don't know why, it wasn't a smart decision, and I hopefully have learned my lesson, uh, but Dota Underlords kind of has a soft spot in my heart. I had over 300 hours in the early access period, and as of today, Dota Underlords has officially come out. Out. So season one, and I've kind of already reviewed Dota Underlords, I've talked about it a lot, so I kind of just wanted to go over what Dota Underlords has added in the season one, uh, because it's a pretty cool deal, and I know not all of you are interested in it, but if you clicked on this video, maybe you're interested in it a little bit. So Dota Underlords, uh, obviously, uh, has been being updated frequently, but this is like the biggest update we've gotten since, and so the biggest thing, in my opinion, is City Crawl, so it's this huge huge kind of like campaign almost uh, where you start out and there's different puzzles and um, challenges and you just constantly complete and go through this city and as you can tell I've only completed uh, three missions um, so not very hard at all and so I can just keep on going on the path so these first paths here you just have to you can play the normal game you just got to play a game as uh, Eno if I'm pronouncing that right or Nessix. Uh, or Hobbyan, and then I completed the one where I uh, played the other person, so now I have one where win a match against technically arachnids to gain control of the district and you have all these rewards and stuff like that and so if you play them, uh, these things are what they call street fights. And that's kind of one of the cool things about this uh, city crawl. Um, and so you can get the, it's kind of like the fast mode, the knockout mode. So we'll just pick summons and whatever. And you kind of just have to win a couple best two of three. So I would play through this. I could buy a couple more um, people and then you proceed to combat. And if you complete it, you complete it. So that's that. Um, but I'm not going to go super into it, bore you to death. Um, but that's, that's pretty cool. And so it's awesome that you can slowly complete a lot of these challenges. You know, a lot of them are puzzles. Like this one was a puzzle. Uh, that you had to complete and I'll just kind of show you that because the puzzles are pretty interesting honestly So this one you have 50 gold you can have a five unit maximum and you can only buy the heartless or, uh, People or the brutes so any of the characters that have brute in them or heartless and you can you know if you buy it um you can, um, you don't actually have to do that, but you can just level them up and it'll automatically spend the gold that it would have taken to do that. And then you, you know, beat the puzzle. So how I did it earlier is I was like, okay, well, there's a bunch of them like that are behind the lines or whatever. So we're just going to create a pudge. And then I kind of did that and he hooked them out of people and got the kills. And it wasn't a very hard puzzle. First puzzle in the city crawl, but it's pretty cool to have something to work for. Uh, you know, some of them will be single player stuff that you get done when you're not wanting to do a full match. Some of it will be while you're playing matches. And it's actually pretty easy to actually see that kind of stuff. If you click play and you can kind of see down here and it says city crawl objectives. And it's telling me that I have three active currently. So if I do any of these if I play a game with him him or her I'll complete progress in the city crawl and I think that's pretty awesome and depending on the last time you've played you might not know about knockout mode and knockout mode uh, is pretty awesome you know standard matches normally take 30 to 40 minutes knockout mode takes about 10 10 minutes and it starts you off and you just pick a bundle of heroes so you already pick a bundle of heroes so we're going to pick a uh, savage scaled and we're already picking an item and we're already getting these and if you see it actually only costs two to level up to a two star and then two two stars to a three star and you just already start playing and you're already going to be thrown into a bot match and instead of having Having health you have four lives and so if you lose you just instantly lose a life and you know when you've lost all your lives you're out and you can't manually upgrade your level uh, so that's just keeps on happening but it levels up pretty fast so the games take about 10 minutes uh, and it's pretty awesome and I believe after the first round then you pick your underlord uh, and depending on the last time you have played underlords are a thing and they've changed from when they originally a thing so I believe in knockout mode we'll instantly pick one here after the first round um, yep and so each underlord has two different kind of things it can be so it shows you um, one of each underlord and then it'll randomly pick one of their kind of builds so we're going to pick Eno where he poisons the entire enemy team 
and so they actually get put on the board uh, and they cast their abilities and so you can synergize with them and they're kind of their own units and stuff like that. So depending on the last time you've played, that is a thing that's really awesome. I really like it versus the first way they tried to put in Underlords. Um, and so that is the Knockout Mode and the Underlords. Uh, the other thing that they did is the Battle Pass. And so they completely, you know, obviously it was just a beta Battle Pass and we have the first official Battle Pass. So it costs $5 if you want to buy the full Battle Pass. Uh, otherwise you can get some of the free rewards you know every now and then but it consists of a lot of different cosmetics that weren't in the beta so I will just go ahead and show you you now have this loadout map you have the game so you can change the map if you've got to level 5 in the beta you can use these old ones um, but I am wanting to use the new one uh, you have board sprays because obviously Dota uh, is a valve game Dota Underlords is a valve game you got to have sprays so you can spray them on the board you can actually change there's different cosmetics for the target buddy um, so what you're kind of seeing is some of the contraptions and the items so when you saw me pick chain mill at the beginning there's also some contraptions that you can actually replace what they look like so you can have a cabbage cart instead of a barricade but they do the same thing uh, you have your different yo's uh, whether it's wows you have your firework effects for winning you have your fire effect for what your uh, when you're on a you know win streak you have the damage effects you have the portal scrolls, so some of which we've already seen, and then you have board props. And board props, I think, are one of the coolest things. You earn these from the kind of chests uh, that are in the battle pass, and you can, you know, pick. Uh, so I can, ch you kind of have like a bunch of spots to put whatever you want. So I'm just going to clear everything, and I got a golden rookie statue for uh, being in, you know, getting the beta pass to level five so i'm assuming you'll see a lot of them and we'll put that statue here and then i'm going to put some lances over here and i'm going to put some cactuses over here and so that is my map and so when i actually play on the map theoretically um it should actually have my thing so if you'll see here I have these statues and they all actually do things so by clicking this it tells me my battle pass by clicking this old thing it has this um awesome emote that was in the beta and then everything's clickable so a lot of things are just simple they just have simple animations but uh, as you saw there were some like music notes uh, in there so it's kind of just something to play with and sometimes you'll see your board sometimes you'll see enemy boards um, but that's how that kind of cosmetic works and the only other thing is the um, things here you can actually change your poster art so before the game you know before you pick an underlord so traditionally it would be a uh, level 10 um, or round 10 in the normal mode and then round two in knockout mode but you have all of these different profile pictures um, you have different titles so I have beta maxed which you get for um, maxing the proto pass uh, which I did in the beta and then you have for all of the underlords you have victory dances and you got different skins for them uh, so there's a lot of cosmetics a lot to work towards which is really good for these types of games so you constantly feel like you're working towards something uh, and I know every game doesn't need it but it's nice for this game to have it and on top of that you also have little achievements that you get um, so when you complete the Hobgen part of the city crawl you get this awesome thing for uh, firebug and there's some really cool ones uh, back here like master of none uh, untouched it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, the call of duty titles because if you actually look at these um, they are like animated so if you can see that's you know doing that uh, I don't know how many of them are animated. That little rainbow is sparkling. Rainbow, rainbow is sparkling. Uh, and so there's a bunch, there's a lot to do. And on top of that, uh, you know, in terms of gameplay wise, we got a bunch of heroes getting rotated in and rotated out. So if you played the beta, all of the like uh, scrappy people, so the kind of like mech people like clockwork and stuff are out. And we actually got summons back, which was one of my favorite things. Uh, Summoner. And it's things that summon things. You have Arc Warden back in the original way he does, where he just keeps creating a copy of himself with the health he's got. Uh, you've got Lycan creating his wolves. you got Venomancer with his Plague Wards. Nature's Prophet with his, you know, Treants. Uh, and it's just really awesome to have Summoner. I think in terms of meta, people are really enjoying it. Uh, we also have the Void uh, people. So all allied Void heroes have 40% chance to deal an additional 5% of the target's max health as pure damage. And we have Vigilant, 
uh, Vigilant, uh, which whichever an enemy, whenever an enemy unit casts a spell, either allied Vigilant units or all allied units target that enemy if it's within their range, which is really good. Um, and, you know, we already had Spirit and stuff like that. So I think they're trying to take a approach what kind of TFT is doing, where they're having seasons and they'll constantly rotate things. You know, they tried the jail system and it didn't really work out. So I think they're trying to do seasons and overall I think that's going to work out. But the biggest thing for me is the city crawl and the new battle pass because this is even if you don't you know enjoy um super competitive trying to climb the ladder this is definitely something to work towards and they're supposedly going to keep adding content to city crawl uh, in the future updates which future seasons they're claiming are going to be every three to four uh you know months and so you have all these stats and stuff like that which is pretty cool your battle pass how many city crawls you've completed your ranks for both knockout and standard your recently played alliances recent matches and overall the ui has just changed a lot so you know this isn't a full review of dota underlords i have talked ad nauseum about dota underlords when i attempted to change my channel to it uh, i just wanted to let you guys know that the game is launched and i think this update is really really awesome and if you were a fan of dota underlords definitely give this a shot i really have high hopes for dota underlords now that it's fully launched and i'm excited to see just a more polished approach to updates rather than completely trying to change things and figure things out i I feel like they've got the core of what Dota Underlords is going to be. It is launched now, and now we have nowhere to go but up from here. So this is probably going to be one of the last times you hear me talk about Dota Underlords. I just felt like I had to give it one more video uh, and, you know, kind of frame it as a game news, game first impressions, um, because Dota Underlords, soft spot in my heart, and uh, I tried to turn my channel into a Dota Underlords channel at one point. So I got to at least talk about the game when it actually comes out. Out. But uh, either way, uh, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like down below and subscribing to see more content. New videos come out about every two to three, uh, two to three videos a week, uh, and mainly gaming reviews or gaming news. So if there's any new games that are coming out that you want me to review, let me know. I actually have another review in the works that'll be coming out in about two days for a indie game that came out that has blown my expectations. Um, it's kind of a story-based game, but no spoiling it till the uh, the video comes out. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys are having a great day today, I hope you continue having a great day. If you guys aren't having a great day, I hope you guys start having a great day. But either way, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. See you guys next time.